Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk with the SodaJerk.net with another Soda Review. Today's Soda Review is Mountain Dew Amp. Now Mountain Dew Amp has been out for a while. I really thought it was on the site. It is not. Um, it's an energy drink. It's a Mountain Dew energy drink. It might have been the first Mountain Dew energy drink. This is, this is, this, this. I saw this at the 7-Eleven that has weird mainstream sodas. It had a Pepsi Vanilla, which I've yet to see since. And then it had this Mountain Dew Amp. Um, this is a really tame, this is like what energy drinks would look like in the 90s. I, I appreciate the label art. It's very, it's, it's fairly generic. But it contains 0% juice. And here are the ingredients. It's a very cold can. Like, I'm going to use my Donegal Tweed hat to hold this can. Carbonated water, high fructose corn si syrup, citric acid, concentrated orange juice, natural flavor, sodium benzoate, preserves freshness, sodium polyphosphates to protect flavor, caffeine, guarana seed extract, gum arabic, 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 Niacinamide, ascorbic acid to protect flavor. Taurine, calcium disodium. I don't know if it's EDTA or EDTA. Um, to protect flavor. Riboflavin. That's a, that's a good one right there. Calcium panthenate. Panax ginseng root extract. That's what they just removed from Pepsi Zero, was that uh, ginseng root extract. The new flavor no longer has the ginseng root. Yellow 5, pyridoxine hydrochloride, vitamin B6. Natural apple extract, color. Cyanocobalamin, vitamin B12. Blue number 1. So a yellow five and a blue one mean this should be a green six. Caffeine content, 146 milligrams for every 16 fluid ounces. That's right. That's right. So let us pour it into my cup. My shot glass is super cold today, so it's foggy. So I don't know that we'll just see. I didn't think this was going to have a color, so I don't really have this prepared. I thought it was going to be clear, because most energy drinks are clear. Oh, that is Mountain Dew Yellow. Look at that. Look at those busy bubbles, being busy. It acts within one hour or overnight. It does kind of have a... Citrus taurine scent. Taurine definitely has its own scent. Like, think of huffing a Red Bull. Um, did I say taurine? Am I just being an, uh, a fool? Yeah, taurine's in there. All right. Let's give this a shot. Ha ha ha! Shot! The Mountain Dewness of it is thankfully first and foremost. I'd say it's a sharper taste than a Mountain Dew, not as sugary. How much sugar is in this? 58 grams of sugar for a 16 ounce. That's about on par, I believe. The Mountain Dewness of it is accurate. There's a little bit of a like on a, on you, like a citrus rind, like the rind of a lemon, the rind of a lime, rind of a lime, and a rind of a lemon. What's that remind me of? Um, something in my mind. It's at the end of the song Regulators. Whatever. Mm -mm. Not Regulators. Mind on my money and my money on my mind. Rind of my lemon and my lemon on my rind. Whatever. Whew, that was a... If you made it past those 30 seconds, good for you. Anyway, it's got the bitterness of a rind, um, of a citrus rind as well, which I kind of like. Um, it complicates the flavor a little bit. It gives me a different look at uh, Mountain Dew. It's pretty tasty. The 
The bubbles are playful. They are kind of sizzly a little bit. I still feel them back of the throat, so they, they have a lasting power to them. It's also fairly refreshing. I like it. I like that it has um, a presence. Some energy drinks, well, less and less as we go on, but you know, in the past, energy drinks didn't really have a presence. They just kind of were functional. This has a taste. This is functional. Uh, again, I believe this is one of their earlier like energy drink attempts. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do the thing you never should do and research it on the fly. Mountain Dew Amp. Uh, it says it was originally made in 2001. And then uh, I said, okay, that is an older energy drink. Look at that. Amp energy drink. 2008, label design. Blah, 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 Apparently in 2011, the Mountain Dew logo was removed entirely. That's, they've since done, come back with that. And then the game fuels. All right. Whatever, that was probably not the most entertaining thing someone watching this could watch. But I haven't seen Mountain Dew Amp in a very long time. I was happy to find it. Just the plain old Amp. I get what I want from Mountain Dew. It's like Mountain Dew with more caffeine, a bit of the bitterness, the scent of taurine. But if you like that lemon lime, and you can find one of these, um, definitely, I said it's a definite buy. When have I started doing definite buy? It's a definite buy, buy, buy. Kind of all over the place today. It's a chaotic review. But no, this is this is better than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what I thought this was going to be. It says it's citrus flavored energy drink with other natural flavors. Um, did it ever tell us the actual natural flavors? It does have orange juice. Maybe that's what the bitterness is. You know, orange has a bit of a bitter, bitter taste to it. The ginger root extract, I... I'm sure I'm tasting it, but I'm, I'm not able to pick it out. I really need to eat my lunch. I think that might be the problem. I'm very hungry, and I'm just kind of all over the place. But that said, last time I did a review and I ate lunch beforehand, I felt the review was very focused. Um, but no one seems to care one way or another if the review is focused or not, like this one, where it's all over the place. That just tripped me out. I was looking at this side of the can, Sorry, I was looking at this side of the can and then turned the can and it was the same exact thing and I was just staring at it for too long. Anywho, well, it's almost been eight minutes. I'm sorry. You know what else has almost been eight minutes? The SodaJerk.net with over 1,000 soda reviews. Imagine if this is someone's first video. Imagine if this is the first video they see of mine and he's like, that guy's everywhere. <laughs> Pardon me. SodaJerk.net is home to over 1,000 soda reviews, over 1,000 of them. Well, more well put together than this one. Um, it's your one-stop shop for pop reviews, says somebody. So, you know, if you want a soda review, that's where you need to go. You need to go there. The soda review. The soda jerk dot, the soda jerk dot, I haven't tried them all <laughs> yet.